Uh, this next speaker uh, is um, a man who has been standing up for Oakland communities for decades. He is not afraid to speak the truth, and he will speak the truth as many times as he needs to to uh, public officials, as many times as he needs to to get them to listen. Um, he, he inspires me. Uh, Minister Keith Muhammad of the Oakland Mosque, please. In the name of Allah God, the beneficent, the merciful, I bear witness that there is but one God. I bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger. I am a student of the teaching of Islam, taught by the man I'm honored to represent to you, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, and it's in their righteous names that I greet you with the greeting words of peace. We say it in the Arabic language, Assalamu alaikum. It is certainly our privilege, but more importantly, it is our duty to stand with you on the wall of truth, where the Bible teaches us to set a watchman among the people. And when the watchman is set in place, that watchman's duty is not only to arise, but that watchman's duty is to warn. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is such a watchman. And when he learned from our brother, Minister Tony Muhammad, who met with Robert Kennedy Jr. And after their conversation about the devastation that our community is being afflicted by, that is being implemented into the lives of our people by way of vaccinations, that the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is not one that could sit by and watch the threat against the lives of our people and say and do nothing. They say there's several kinds of people. There are those who watch things happen. There are those who make things happen. And there are those who don't know what happened. Well, we are honored to stand with a man that when he comes into the knowledge of what has happened, that there is no force on the earth that can stop him from standing for the protected lives of people. And that man is the man that called us to Washington two weeks ago, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Now, I don't need to speak long because we already know the facts here. Yet, unfortunately, most of our people do not. I had the privilege a moment ago to meet a mother in this crowd, Sister Deneen, who some years ago took her three-month-old child for the vaccinations that the hospital recommended. And like most parents, she wanted to entrust that the doctors would not offer her child anything that could be harmful. So she submitted to the process of vaccination without a question, without a dialogue, and without a doubt. And unfortunately, within weeks of that unnecessary vaccination, within weeks of that harmful vaccination, she lost her daughter, young Dominique, who did not make it past three months of age when her mother handed her to a system that she trusted. Now imagine today, not only are we confronted by the matter of autism, and Sister Tisha did such a wonderful job in explaining how that concern affects and afflicts families all over America. But of all of those that are afflicted by that condition, there is no part of the American society that feels the brunt of it worse than the black community. But not only that, what my sister Deneen suffered, what the doctors diagnosed simply as SIDS, Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. Look at the raw number. And it is a condition that according to what I read in Mr. Kennedy's writing, is also impacted 
by these vaccinations. For every 70, pardon me, 100,000 white children, 72 are afflicted by SIDS. For every 100, pardon me, 100,000 children born, 166 that are black are afflicted by SIDS. In other words, SIDS is twice as devastating to the black family than to the white. Now that doesn't mean that because one is white, there's something wrong with you. But it does mean that the scientists who have already seen the numbers, who already know the devastation at the CDC that take the facts and shred them in the wastebasket, when they discovered that black children were afflicted by autism at a 240 percent increase from others and they took the evidence and shredded it and left it in the wastebasket. And when they refused to stand up and call a public hearing, when their own lead scientist, Dr. William Thompson, is pleading to be heard because he knows that the facts have been hidden, question to the demons, the devils, and Satan's that would take the fact that babies are dying with knowledge and throw it under the table and stand before the world and declare that we're standing to protect the health of babies. No, this is a problem far more sinister than many are willing to admit to. For the very vaccines that are now harming us when they learn of their harmful effects in America, it's not uncommon for the same vaccines to be sent to other parts of the world. But they don't send them to France. They don't send them to England. They don't send them to Spain. They take these vaccines that are knowingly harmful and send them to the so-called third world. Yes. Well, yes. Why is that? They don't know. Is this simply a scheme to make money from these tremendous money makers? That may be a factor. Yes. But how then do you factor in sending these vaccines to West Africa? How then? Do you calculate why these vaccines have been used in Central America? What is it that is in the heart of those that are knowingly poisoning the people? And I have to say to you that anybody that would knowingly poison your babies while you're under the guise that they're being protected, anybody that would do such a thing is a devil. Yes. Yes. Now, if you can find a devil after death that is more sinister than the ones that are hiding the murder of your children, I say that the one that you see while you are living is far more dangerous than the one that you'll see after death because you're dead, they can't kill your babies. Well, they can't kill you. You're dead and gone. But you've got one and many that would actually use the banner of government to protect themselves and to protect the pharmaceutical industries that are knowingly harming the health of our children. This is why we need watchmen. We need those who are willing to arise and to warn. And once we have been arisen, we must warn like the watchmen are warners. So I thank you for joining us in this effort to warn the people of Oakland, to warn Northern California. They're in Atlanta right now to warn the world that there's a sinister activity that's coming out of the CDC. And if we do not fight and expose the truth, then we'll be victims of what we don't know, because what we don't know does hurt. Yes. So our duty is to deliver the truth at all costs. But Jesus said, and I close, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make us free. It is the time have come 
that we be free from the sinister activity of the CDC, the Center for Disease Creation. May God bless and keep you. Hi, Salaam Alaikum.